All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how how to get my custom configuration for these RetroArch hotkeys working for a lot of your emulated games. So let me just walk you through what they do. So first of all, all of these are mapped to a touch menu, and you and you don't just click to activate them because I found that it's a little e little too easy to accidentally activate them. So I put them as long press buttons. So you want to you're gonna hold down for a, for about a second for each button to activate. So this is middle one is to open the RetroArch menu. This one right here is for save stating, so you can walk around afterwards. This one right here is to load that state. This is to fast forward gameplay. This one's to rewind, and this is to change the save slot. These two right here are to change the save slots you're saving into. So I can make a different save slot here. Save right there. I can uh, go back to the previous save slot, load that one. Go to the other save slot and load that one. We have multiple save slots this way. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what you're gonna get out of uh, following these these steps. I'm gonna detail here. Uh, first step you definitely want to take is. Follow the, I'd say, either the Retro Game Core or the ETA Prime tutorial videos on setting up EmuDeck. EmuDeck is uh, really important into getting this thing working. It just makes, it sets up all your buttons, right? it make, it uh, creates individual titles in your Steam library so you can uh, load everything up. But yeah, that's the first step. But the next step then is to go into desktop mode. And I'll show you what we need to do there. All right, so now that we're in desktop mode, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your installation of RetroArch. You should be able to find it under Games here. Scroll down until you find RetroArch. Now, I've already uh, changed my settings here but um, my for my hotkeys, but I'll show you what, what, ba what I basically did. So you go to... Um, Go to settings here, you go down to input, you go down to hotkeys, and uh, EmuDeck will have set up a bunch of different hotkeys to do different uh, button combinations to do these these same things that I'm doing with the touchpads, but I'm using keyboard commands on the trackpad here because I don't want to conflict with my button inputs. For example, if I'm fast forwarding, I want to be able to hit A, continue hitting A, to skip through long dialogue, but with the hotkey system that that's set up here by EmuDeck, you can't do that. It because A becomes the pause button. So you're gonna see, for example, let's go all the way to the top. You're gonna see the hotkey enable button. It's gonna say four like that. So that means you have to hold select to do any hotkeys, even the keyboard keys. So that's that was my main frustration with it. So to clear any hotkeys like that, you just press start. You're going to see uh, several other buttons like fast forward, hold, I believe is going to be the right trigger. So it would say plus five like that. Just hit start to clear it. So hit start on um, load state, then you hit start on save state. Hit start on save slot plus, save slot minus, on rewind, on uh, pause, all that. I'll just get rid of those, those hotkeys. And that should be that. Then you can quit RetroArch. And then the next step is you're going to want to download a file. It's the Steam input configuration file that I created. And I'm going to put that link in the description of this video. And once you have it downloaded, you're going to have it right here. It's going to be called right here in your downloads folder. It's going to be called RetroArchController.config.vdf. You're going to want to right click that, click copy. And now we're going to want to go to home. And you're gonna see a bunch of uh, you're gonna, you're not gonna see all the same files I see here right now. We want to so click here at the top right of the Dolphin uh, what's this called Dolphin File Manager. Open the menu and make sure you have Show Hidden Files selected. Make sure that's enabled. So once you got that, scroll down to one that's called. Let's, uh, let me make sure I'm ordered by sorting by name here. Go down to 
dot steam right here that's the file you want to go to it's the folder then look for another folder labeled steam and then go to controller base right here then templates now right here is where you're going to paste the controller configuration that I that you just downloaded so you right click paste one file and this is asking me to overwrite it because I already have it there but once you have that pasted you're pretty much done Now you're, you can go back to gaming mode. Now you can load up just any any ROM you might have on your on your Steam Deck here, and then hit the Steam button. Go over to the right twice, hit, and go right here controller settings. Hit A. Go here. Go down to templates, and the one labeled retroarch and now you got a perfectly usable touch menu for all your games that run through retroarch and it's that simple there you go thanks for watching